Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for hex in this nice math problem? Solution here from what is given, which is root 2 plus root x equals to 2. From what we have here, we can square both sides directly. Here we square this side, and also we square this side. And here on this side, it follows from the expansion a plus b all square, which same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is, here we have root 2 squared, then plus root x squared, then plus 2 times root 2 times root x which is now equals to 2 square here that's something as 4 then from here square cancel square root we have 2 then plus also square cancel square root we have x and here we have plus 2 root here we bring this together and becomes 2x then equals to 4 on this side. That is here. We can take 2 and hex to the other side. And we are left with 2 root 2x. Two here, which is equals to. Here, we have 4 already. Then 2 comes here, become minus 2. Then x also comes here, become minus x. And that is this becomes 2 root 2x equals to here give us 2 minus x. That is from here we can divide both sides by 2. Then here 2 cancel out, we are left with root 2x which is equals to 2 minus x over 2. And also here, we can square both sides. Then when we square this side, we have everything square, then everything square here. And from here, square cancel the square root. We have 2x, which is equals to here, follows from a over b, all raised to power n which is a raised to power n over b raised to power n. So here we can square 2 minus x. So 2 minus x squared then over 2 squared. And this expansion here, when we expand, this becomes 2x now equals to here become 4. That's 2 square 4 plus x square then minus 2 times 2 times times minus x which is minus 4x then over 2 square here that's 4 then from here we can cross multiply this is over 1 and 2x times 4 that gives us 8x so we have 8x here which is equals to 4 plus x square minus 4x and here we can rearrange and bring everything to one side that is maintaining this side here we have x square then minus 4x then it x comes here become minus 8x then we already have plus 4 then this side becomes 0 which means we can put it here equals to 0 and also here we can write this as x square minus 12x here then plus 4 equals to 0 and this gives us a quadratic equation where a here is equals to 1 b here is equals to minus 12 and c here equals to 4 that is here from the quadratic formula we have x now equals to minus minus 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square then minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is divided by 2 
times 1. Now, yes, simplifying this further, here we have x equals 2 minus times minus has become plus. So we have 12 plus or minus square root of here minus 12 square is t144. Then minus here we have 16 over 2 from here. That is here we solve further and we have x equals to 12 plus or minus root 120. Eight from here over 2 and since we can separate 128 as 64 times 2 here we have x now equals to 12 plus or minus root 64 times 2 then over 2 then here root 64 we separate it out as 8 then here this gives us x equals to 12 plus or minus 8 root 2 over 2 and here also we can factor 2 out and we have x now equals to 2 into bracket 6 left here then plus or minus 4 left here root 2 then over 2 and this cancel each other then we have x now equals to 6 plus or minus 4 root 2 then here we have two possible solutions for x. The first one we have x equals to 6 plus 4 root 2. Or we might have x equals to 6 minus 4 root 2. Now let's check which of these we satisfy a given problem. From the equation given which is root 2 plus root x equals to 2 now let's substitute the first value of x here then this becomes root 2 plus root 6 plus 4 root 2 with this we equals to 2 from here and here we can simplify this that is here we can write this as root 2 plus square root of here we reverse this two separated from here and then for we to get two that means that same thing as root four so that means we can write as six plus two root when we separate that two from here we can root four that's root four times root two that's root eight then is it equals to two from here and here we can write this and this becomes root 2 plus root here 6 can be written as 4 times 2 I mean 4 plus 2 rather then plus here we have 2 we can separate this as root 4 times root 2 now is equal to 2 then here simply put we can say this is root 2 plus square root of here 4 is root 4 square then plus 2 also is root 2 square then plus 2 root 4 times root 2 then is it equals to 2 here now from here we can simply write what is inside this root and we have root 2 here plus square root of here we have root 4 plus root 2 all squared from here. And is it equals to 2? Here yeah, square cancel square root. Then from here what we have now is root 2 plus root 4 plus root 2 is it equals to 2. Then here yeah, root 4 that's 2 and we have root 2 plus root 2 that's root 2 so we have 2 plus 2 root 2 here yeah, which is not equals to 2 from this side then it implies that x equals to 6 plus 4 root 2 does not satisfy this given problem so this here is not a solution now for this other side when we substitute here 
this equation given becomes root 2 plus square root of 6 minus 4 root 2 is this equals to 2 now when we work this the same way we work what we have here the only difference is that this has minus why this has plus so simply this here will become root 4 minus root 2 because here we have square cancel square root and that's root 4 plus root 2 so here this same thing as root 2 plus root 4 minus root 2 from here and is it equals to 2 then here root 2 minus root 2 cancel out and root 4 here that's 2 which is equals to 2 and since left hand side equals to right hand side here we can conclude that x equals to 6 minus 4 root 2 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and put your comment in the comment section please share this video subscribe subscribe we really appreciate your reactions and your comments and thank you see you next class and bye for now